You have to stop being afraid of getting naked with your boo. They know you got rolls. They know you got stretch marks. They know what they're coming for. They're coming for you. So get naked, boo. Let all your flax hang. This is the way it's meant to be. Good luck. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, my little scrum dilly I'm just back this. My little, my little pudding pops. My little... Mm. <laughs> I still don't know what to call you guys. We really have to come up with a name because I would love to have like a cute little intro for y'all. But, but anyways, anyways, girl, anyways. Today is a really interesting topic that kind of just came out of nowhere in my mind and I really wanted to talk about it and I was wondering if I was the only one um, that maybe have struggled with this. Sometimes I still struggle with it now, um, but definitely know that some people can probably relate to this. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So if you're looking to get a little bit more comfortable in the bedroom, just more so with confidence. But if you want something more on like sexual positions, especially for plus size curvy girls, definitely let me know. But in this case, we're just going to be talking about the confidence that you feel in the bedroom so exercises that I'm pointing out in this video are similar to kind of those exercises that people will make you do when you want to be more confident like in public so you want to be maybe more outgoing um, or just a little bit more comfortable in like socially or even speaking in public, they have little exercises where you can kind of grow your confidence. There was this one exercise that I actually really, 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 really want to try. Um, because I know sometimes, I, you know, I'm pretty like outgoing on um, here. So usually when people meet me, oh my gosh, so funny, da, 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 and the expect expectations are really high, but in person I'm actually, you know, social anxiety. And I'm like really shy and kind of quiet when you first meet me. So yeah so me having to like kind of open up outside is something that i really want to do so there's an exercise that i heard about um where you sh actually they tell you to go to like a mall or a really crowded area which we'll probably have to wait for COVID to be over because we can't do that now um <laughs> but really crowded area so like malls anything like that just lay on the floor so for the mall they said to go into the middle of the cafeteria because it's usually crowded and lay on the floor just lay on the floor in the middle of everybody and immediately it's something strange to do in public <laughs> so especially outside in public so people are automatically gonna look people are automatically gonna stare ask questions start talking to you and they say not to answer any questions don't talk to anybody stay, sit, lay there for like maybe five minutes and then just walk away that's it that is it because if you really think about it that takes a level of confidence that <laughs> i currently i don't know if i have but i i i am willing i am willing my personality is so weird that i'm definitely willing to do something like that so these tips are going to be something like that just little things that you can do with yourself that in a way kind of tricks your mind to believe that you're a little bit more confident you're a little bit more going and it kind of takes away the fear of in the insecurity because that's all that it is insecurity is just like a fear of either failure rejection things like that nobody wants to um experience those things or feel those feelings so they become insecurities and in some cases they become phobias so these are just three tips that we can try um some may apply to you some may not but these are just three important tips that i think you should definitely start with when getting more confident and confident in the bedroom especially with your body I'm not even going to say for my plus size girls because talking to, you know, strange, uh, not strange women, <laughs> talking to women that are strangers, like, you know, people that I don't know um, over the internet. So usually either on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, I see that, you know, women who wear tops during sex 
it's not only a plus size thing. It's definitely need not. Um, I think it's more so a bit of an insecurity kind of thing or like a body image kind of thing. So the reason why most women wear it, um, especially plus size women, I think we're just trying to hide um, some of our roles, some of our fat, so we don't seem, it's not like too intimidating to our partner. Um, but actually a lot of women go through this and a lot of women actually wear a lot of clothes during sex So the first thing is going to be to take off your top and to take off your top voluntarily um, I've actually had an experience where you know men will of course they want you naked They want to see it usually when they're with you. They want all that, but that's not what we're talking about I've actually had a man um, Like take off my shirt for like just just took it off <laughs> I couldn't stop him. There was nothing I can do. There was, not that there was nothing I can do, but it was just usually some men, I, I think they, they understood that, you know, we have it on for, you know, a certain reason. And so they kind of let it ride, see if I would take it off or if they would maybe suggest or, you know, just, you know. Um, but no, this man kind of just, <laughs> he just took it off. And I remember feeling so good. I remember feeling really really good about it i remember feeling wanted i remember feeling kind of sexy like it was just one of those scenes where you know they rip off all your clothes from the movies you know it was really hot um and it was nice but um i didn't it it was nice but it was kind of like somebody else had to do it for me and i personally don't like that when it's something that I have to overcome myself, especially when it comes to like my own um, body or my own self image or how I feel about myself, that's something that I do want to conquer on my own as well, you know? So yeah, it was nice. It was enjoyable. It was great for him to do at the time. It was, it was great. It wasn't something that he did wrong, um, but that's something that I want to do on my own. So that is going to be the first tip and the first kind of experiment that you can try on your own to kind of get a little bit more confident, especially in your own body during sex is going to be to take off your own clothes take them off take them off sis take them off i actually have a tiktok um that is talking about it like i'm i'm gonna put it in here so you can see it you have to stop being afraid of getting naked with your boob they know you got rolls they know you got stretch marks they know what they're coming for they're coming for you so get naked, boo. Let all your flaps hang. This is the way it's meant to be. Good luck. And women went crazy over it. They went crazy over it. They were like, oh my God, yes, it gave me the confidence. Some women actually commented, I'm gonna try it, and then came back again, and then they said they tried it and they loved it. Uh, some women weren't able to get it on the first try, and that is absolutely okay. This is all about you feeling comfortable. Once you're comfortable with something, if you, if you ever notice, if you're ever really comfortable with something, you're confident in it. Because you're comfortable doing it, you're used to doing it, it's almost like a regular thing. You know what I'm saying? So once you get comfortable doing something, you're going to naturally be confident in it. So you have to take your time. Don't stress yourself out about these things because it's okay. And the more comfortable that you get with yourself, the more confident you're going to get. So make sure that you are ready. If it doesn't work the first time, if maybe you do it and you try and you back out, that is 100% okay. We can try next time. So the second tip is actually to initiate sex. <clears throat> When it comes to us females, is who I'm talking to specifically, I know at times, for some women, not all, but especially, especially for me, <laughs> I'm not one to usually initiate sex. And I think a lot of women don't usually initiate sex, especially when you're in a heterosexual relationship between a man and a woman. Uh, sometimes the male is usually the one who's kind of always nudging about sex. But either way, I'm thinking more so this I'm talking more so to the submissive and the ones that aren't as comfortable initiating sex or in, with sex in general. Initiating sex is a great way to get your confidence kind of up and running. It is exciting, especially if it's something that you don't do often, and you can initiate sex in a bunch of different ways. You can make more so like romantic gestures. When you initiate sex, you can do something like maybe when they come home from work or anything like that. Maybe not right away from work, they got a shower. <laughs> um, but maybe, you know, set the mood, make it a little bit romantic. You can light some candles, 
you know have the whole vibe so you're you know, you're you're kind of telling them you're giving them signals that it's about to go down okay <laughs> You can do something a little bit more spontaneous where maybe you guys are just watching TV and, you know, you kind of start kissing, touching again, but you got to initiate these things. Male, maybe you start <clears throat> a little, a little, give them a little tappy top, you know, give them a little tappy top. <laughs> you can start by doing that. Maybe uh, straight away in the morning, you can start them with, a, you know, a little tappy top. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a great way to initiate sex and definitely try this with your partner <laughs> do not try this with strangers because you don't know how they feel and the same way that women can be sexually harassed so can men don't forget that the last way to initiate sex is something a little bit more dominant um so maybe you're already in the vibe of having sex maybe you're already having sex even if you were submissive at first even if you didn't initiate the sex um you can even become more dominant right in the middle you can kind of take control you can flip if they're on top you can flip them over you can get on top you can take control of the situation so let's say a scenario they're on top of you maybe you still have your shirt on a good way to two birds one stone kind of thing is uh, um getting them off from on top of you so like flipping the scene get on top of them start riding take your shirt off and just kind of go in honey that would be an amazing power it will it would make you feel so good just to kind of do it and they will love it trust me I've never uh, went on top of somebody and they were like, get off. <laughs> never in my life. Never in my life and you will never experience that. And if you do, sis, that ain't the one for you. <laughs> but how you initiate sex is going to depend on your preferences theirs. Whatever you guys like, but there is a bunch of different options. And the last tip, this one's going to be um, more so for who it relates to. I personally have not struggled with this specific tip um but i have learned you know just doing youtube and kind of being outspoken with kind of like my sexuality and sexual experiences i've heard a lot of women you know not being comfortable with themselves sexually um so even so it's not really what their partner would think about them it's more so how they think about them and not only that it's more so they're not even able to please themselves they've never had an orgasm they feel really uncomfortable even looking at themselves in the mirror naked these are going to be things that obviously we have to overcome and able to enjoy sex with another person and again i don't want you to think that there's anything wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you a, a lot of things that we go through and a lot of insecurities that we have stem from other things stem from trauma stem from experiences and it's absolutely okay but we do have to make sure that we're overcoming them it's okay to have like a sad day it's okay to have an angry day as long as we're not wallowing in those things and we stay stuck in that kind of vibe for way too long we have to make sure that we feel our feelings, acknowledge them, and then we have to make sure that we're moving past and healing from them. So it's going to be the same kind of deal with this. So little things that you can do is look in the mirror. You can look in the mirror, examine your body. I'm kind of one of those people that I, you have to look at the coochie. You have to look at the kitty. You have to know what she looks like. You have to examine her. You have to make sure that she's cool. Feel her out sometimes. You know, the same way men be having their hands in their pants Mm. if you catch me in my room one time and my hands are all up in there and i'm not technically you know masturbating or playing with myself or anything i'm just kind of examining her filling her out making sure she's cool having a little one-on-one -on -one quality time you have to treat her well so that she could treat you well honey um so definitely that that's more so you know for your health as well um but also get familiar with her see what she likes see what feels good on your own and definitely masturbate uh i know some people if you know like me i have been masturbating for quite a while <laughs> i kind of started early on unfortunately but not unfortunately but you know i started early on because i had early early on sexual experiences and that was unfortunate um because you know it wasn't consensual at first um you know healed from that we're good <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa we're working on it <laughs> if that is one thing that did make me it did make me comfortable with my own body um especially when it comes to sexually pleasing myself so you know i know what i like i know what feel good what feels good to me and though it took me a long time to be able to feel comfortable with telling other people when 
I'm feeling good or how to make me feel good and, and when and how to make me climax um, and, and why that was so important. I did learn it and I do know how to tell people now. Definitely take time to make sure that you learn your body, make sure you learn your little kitty cat and how to please her. Uh, but definitely another thing is to look in the mirror and just look at your body. Look at your body, turn around, pose, look make yourself feel beautiful in your own skin so whether you want to have a full face on and then just be butt naked in the mirror that's perfectly fine if that's what makes you feel good if you want to be all natural if you want to just be fresh out the shower because i know sometimes fresh out the shower you just feel so clean so nice so beautiful so sexy but make sure that you're looking at your body butt naked 100 percent birthday suit no socks no bra no underwear look at you bare skin and love that person love that person even if you don't believe it at the time make sure you say nice things to that person tell her that she's beautiful when you're looking at yourself looking at your stretch marks looking at your scars looking at your rose looking at your cellulite looking at excess skin it doesn't matter what it is that your body looks like your skin tone it doesn't matter make sure that you're telling her she is beautiful and she is worthy the more that you do that the more it's going to set in your words are so powerful somebody actually just told me the other day it's it's why they call it spelling because it's a spell the words that you say to yourself it's like you're putting a spell on yourself the more negative that you do you're like putting negative spells on this yourself so the more positive things that you set out you're putting more positive spells on yourself and it's absolutely true words do hurt i don't care what anyone says if you get enough bad words from uh, some people that are important enough that you care what they say it's going to hurt and so imagine yourself you are the most important person in your life so if you're talking to yourself negatively that's going to hurt and all of those things together i absolutely believe and they have worked for me as well they are going to make you much more comfortable much more confident in the bedroom and once you have both of those things sex will be so much more enjoyable for you and for your partner depending on the kind of partner that you have sometimes they can feel the vibe that you're giving off of them the same way when you have a baby if you're stressed out and you have a baby and you're trying to get them to stop crying and you're trying to get them to calm down there's no way that they're going to because they can feel your stress people can feed off of your energy and so the energy that you're putting off is kind of what you're going to get back so the more that you're comfortable and confident in the bedroom the more that you feel sexy the more endurable it's going to be for the both of you so i really hope that these tips helped you out you guys have any questions definitely comment down below if you want to talk to me specifically instagram is always open guys gentlemen ladies even if don't forget that um i have an only fans my link is down below so if you have any questions i really do one-on-one -on -one there especially when it comes to like sexual questions we're really open there and um it's actually 50 percent off now so definitely check out the link below if you like this video go ahead and like subscribe and turn on your post notifications honey because you Yo, your girl has been on it lately. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a set schedule yet, but I definitely am uploading a lot more than I was before. So just bear with me, guys. I am in a new city and I'm actually starting a new job next week. So excited about that. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.